Hey everybody, I'm Fanny Easter. Um, here's Sobek. Here's Sobek. Look here, Brady. He's like, I'm too busy worrying about the treats. I'm going to talk about how to brush your dog because I think that's an important one that, um, let me rewind and explain. When I was teaching classes, I, you know, was talking about weekly brushing and how important it is for body handling. And, um, and when I kind of pulled everybody about weekly brushing, I got a lot of, from the pet owners, the pet parents, and I'm like, well, why? What's wrong? What's going on? And they're like, oh, it's just a mess. It's so hard. It's this, it's that. So I was like, okay, how about this? You guys all bring your dog's brush next week to class and we'll see what's going on. Ne next week, I brought them all in. <laughs> it was impossible. Here they are holding the leash. They were chasing their dog around in a circle, almost like a helicopter, trying to get the dog to brush, to brush their dog kind of wasn't working. Dog wasn't liking the brush, started to become a game, or the dog became scared of it. So basically, um, I was like, okay, let's let's time out and let's try a couple of different things. Um, first off, you really want to get your dog used to the brush. Um, if somebody just came up to you and started, I don't know, taking a curry comb and rubbing it alongside your arm, you'd get a little freaked out too, right? You kind of want to know what's going on. Also, I don't have children, but I have godchildren, and I know teaching them to stay still while you're pulling their hair up in a ponytail or quaffing their little hair perfectly like uh, my godchild Connor, it's gonna learn to stay still so you can get it just right. So we'll, we'll actually gonna teach our dogs, just like you have to teach children, we'll teach our dogs to stay still while we're actually gonna be brushing them. For Sobek, he has a short to medium coat, so I have a curry comb. Um, I also use this for Stella. She has super, super short hair because she's a bull terrier. But yes, it looks kind of like what you would use for a, um, a horse, I guess you can say. Um, so what I like to do is, and I'm going to get Soa back up. They don't have to get up. They don't have to stand. You just want to take the brush and just touch them and give them a treat so they have good associations. I'm just standing him up so you can actually see what it looks like. All right, let me get this big beast up. Come on. All right. So basically all I'm doing is, yes, and he gets a treat. Okay. He gets another treat. Now I'm going to brush three times. Yes. And I give him another treat. Okay. So I'm saying yes, which basically marks the behavior. You could use a clicker, but I only have two hands and a dog. Um, what I like about this is, is that you're actually teaching the dog to stand still and that the brush, oh, good boy. And that the brush. I know and that the brush is actually a really good thing um, so that's one way you can do this you'll need a bunch of treats but you definitely want to do one brush treat two brushes yes treat three brushes and so forth okay keep your sessions short in the beginning probably no more than um, maybe 30 seconds um, and then maybe after two or three of those you can go to a minute and then after a couple weeks you can maybe do depending on your dog's uh, coat needs you can go a little longer I'll show you another way um, that you can do this if you need both hands, like you have a longer coat dog that you almost kind of need to hold their coat while you brush, I'll show you another way. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I have the secret ingredient and I'm trying to hold him off. It's a heavy, I guess it's ceramic, I don't know, it's an old plate and I basically smear it with um, peanut butter. I don't like to use a um, paper plate because as they lick it just scoots around and then now you're moving chasing the dog chasing the peanut butter in the bowl so I like to actually take this and you can put it on the ground or you can put it on furniture so I'll show you I'm only moving him around so you can see him you do whatever you need to do to make it easier for you but I'm gonna move him around oh follow the plate so back okay if it gets on my sofa I'll just clean it and I put this down. We've never done this before. And as he licks, this is the first time we've done that. You can tell by him going to that plate and I brush. Oh, he's licking it on my pillow. Okay. 
and you can brush. Super, super simple. And what's nice about this is, is that not only are you getting, you know, able to, you're not only are you able to brush your dog while they're standing still, it's making it easier for both of you, but you're also pairing peanut butter with brushing. So you're pairing good things with something new. And so Beck and I say thank you for visiting us. Bye. I think you like that peanut butter, huh, big boy? Thank you.